Hey guys, welcome to Amy's Autopsy Report. My name's Amy. Um, this video is going to be a review for The Ritual. Uh, this movie is from 2018. It is currently on Netflix. It's a Netflix made film. Um, it's a, a film that is, um, I believe, from the UK, and it is a creature feature. I heard a lot of people talking really good things about this movie, and I, I kind of delayed a little bit watching it because typically creature features, you know, you kind of know what you're going to get with the average creature feature. So I didn't really rush into watching it, but the more I heard, uh, the more it interested me, and so I, I gave it a watch. I've actually watched it twice now. Um, basic plot of this movie is you've got a group of guys uh, from the UK, and uh, they go out on this hiking trip to sort of honor their friend who gets killed in an armed robbery at the beginning of the film. So they head to the mountains of Sweden, and they're going on this this hiking and camping trip, and they're going to do this sort of sort of like honoring their friend's death. They set up these rocks and a picture of their friend up on top of this mountain, and they kind of, you know, say their goodbyes that way. The lead character of the film is kind of battling his own demons of regret because he witnesses his friend die in the armed robbery and doesn't go to help him. He hides in the corner, and so he's kind of battling this uh, this feeling of regret throughout the entire movie. So, they're on the hiking trip. They do the part where they set up the rocks in the photo of their friend, and they, they all take a drink of liquor, scotch, I'm assuming, and, um, you know, then they're, they go back to their tents, and the next thing you see is it's pouring down rain. Um, everybody's packing up their stuff quickly, and they start to head out. When they start to head out, one of the guys falls and twists his knee pretty badly, and they decide at that point that they're going to take a shortcut so that they can get back to the lodge um, that's supposedly like, I don't know, an eight-hour hike or something from where they're at, and uh, they're going to kick back and have some beers and, and kind of reflect on the trip. So they decide to take a shortcut. Let me just tell you guys. Don't ever take a shortcut. It's never a good idea. Nothing good ever happens from it, okay? <laughs> um, so th they take the shortcut, and then basically all hell breaks loose. They go in, they're in this deep forest, and stuff starts happening. They kind of start seeing, like, these symbols carved in the trees. Um, they come across a cabin and they're not really finding their way out like they thought they would. And they come across this cabin that's really that's abandoned. And they, they go in there. They're going to sleep there for the night. And then go back to the lodge in the morning. So they can get their bearings when the weather's better. So, while they're in this cabin, they discover a lot of, like, weird things in the cabin. And weird things start happening to them in the cabin. Um, that's all I'm going to tell you of the plot. There's, there's a lot more, a lot more stuff happens, but I really don't want to give away, you know, some of this, some of this stuff. Um, so let me get into the things I liked about this movie. This movie had an amazing location. I don't know if they were really filming in the mountains of Sweden or the forests of, of Sweden, but this area was beautiful. It was absolutely beautiful, and the cinematography was very well done. They, they used that forest and made it look both expansive and claustrophobic at the same time, and the cinematography was phenomenal. The acting was, it was very well acted. This movie had very high production value. Um, let's start talking about the creature. Um, I'm not going to give too much away about the creature. I think the element of surprise is best for this. I will say you get some glimpses of the creature, like, for the first half of the film. The second half of the film, it really picks up. You see the full creature. You see... I think there's some CG in it, 
Um, but you do actually see the creature and you see a lot of it. Um, and it looks amazing. The monster looks amazing. I felt it was a menacing creature. Um, the stuff in this movie, it's sort of this weird mixture of like Norse myth mythology, witchcraft, demons perhaps. I don't know, <laughs> but um, there was so much to like about this movie. Um, the guy is also having these visions and flashbacks of his friend in the liquor store with him when it gets robbed and his friend gets killed repeatedly throughout. The way they put that into the forest scenes was seamless. It was absolutely seamless. Um, things I didn't like about this movie. You know what? There's almost nothing I can think of that I didn't like this about this movie. I pretty much liked everything about it. Um, so far, it's the best film I've seen of 2018. Um, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5. If you are a fan of Creature Features, I say check it out. The first half is a bit of a slow burn, but I felt like it was very engaging and very suspenseful through the whole thing. Um, I say I say definitely give it a shot. 5 out of 5 for me. I was afraid to take the dog outside after I watched this. <laughs> Even after I watched it the second time, I still was freaked out. <laughs> um, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I highly recommend you check this movie out. If you've seen it, let me know what you thought in the comments below. Um, as always, that's going to do it for this video. If you like these videos, give me a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram, at Amy's Autopsy Report. My Amazon link will be in the description box below if you'd like to support my channel at no cost to you. And I will catch you guys in the next one.